Dylan at Salty Underground, and today we're going to be adding some more fish to our saltwater display tank. So this first fish that we are going to be adding is a canary blenny, and as you can see, we are doing the acclimation. So we're going to do this process a few times over the course of 30 minutes to an hour in order to acclimate this canary blenny to our tank and its new home. And we're adding about a cup to half a cup of water. We're also going to be adding this purple fire fish to our tank as well. And this we're doing a little bit of a different method. This is the bag method of adding a fish to your tank and acclimating it. So we're just doing this just to show the different types of acclimation methods that you can do. So in this method, we are floating the bag in our tank, and then we're going to be slowly adding water to the bag so that the fish is acclimated not only temperature-wise to our tank, but also acclimated by the water as well. So we're doing the exact same thing that we were doing with the Canary Blenny, and we're adding about half a cup to a cup of water over the course of 30 minutes to an hour, and we're doing that about three times. We want the water to be roughly triple in the bag, and then we will release them into the tank. And this is our final acclimation of both of them. We just added them closer to the tank so that it was easier to place them in the tank after this acclimation period is finished. And the water that we are adding into both of these containers is water from our tank. You always want to acclimate with water from your tank. And there they are getting ready to go into their new home. And so now we are going to be adding the fish to the tank after the acclimation period has ended. And now the canary has his own new home. He did almost uh, got sucked in a little bit by the power head, but he was able to get out of there without any injury. So now he's just kind of swimming around exploring. We wanted to add these two fish into our tank because we already had two bottom dwellers with the orange diamond gobies. So we wanted to have some more fish that used up more of the tank. So the firefish and the blenny kind of situate themselves towards the middle of the tank and they are more in the water column than the gobies are. And we also wanted to add some more pops of color. So this purple firefish adds a nice pop of color to the tank and so does the canary blenny with that nice bright yellow color. And they're just going to kind of explore around. The canary blenny was getting awfully close to the Gobi burrow, and so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of our new additions to our tank, and let me know if you've added any fish to your tank recently. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye.